Okay, it is time to do my Santa hutch. And I have a new idea for this year, is to tinsel it up in the back. And as you guys know, I love tinsel. And this, um, I think I got on eBay for really cheap. Um, it's meant for a table skirt for a party, but it's the same thing. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. So let's, let's start with that. I'm also wearing my favorite puffy paint handmade vintage sweatshirt. Do you guys remember making these? I used to love, I used to like be obsessed with puffy paint. So I really love this one and it seemed appropriate for today since we're gonna sparkle my hutch. Okay, so I already trimmed and measured for each section. And what's nice is that there are some sticky, it's sticky on the back. So I'm just gonna start here. Oh yes, that is pretty. So when I got it, it was really long, so I, I did trim it. Look how good that looks. Scout, you like it? Okay, yes, that I'm loving it. All right, let's continue. Okay, we are done. There you go. Now that looks so good, like really good. It's so inexpensive and it makes such a huge difference if you guys have, you know, like a, just even like a bookshelf to do on the back. Like, it's so pretty. All right, let's fill this bad boy up with some Santas. Okay, I usually have the star of the show in my hutch and it's always this punch bowl. So, and then this year I made handmade whipped cream out of um, plaster, wall plaster, and that turned out really good. So this is gonna how this is how I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna work around it. So we have a lot of the bigger glassware all in there and I want to share with you guys a couple of things that are kind of special to me. Some I just really like. So this, I'm sure you guys have these, is very near and dear to my heart. This was on Grandma Tony's table for every Christmas and I would just remember playing with them and stuff. So these are hers and they always go kind of in the front because I love them so much. This ornament hanger box, I mean, this couldn't be more me. It is amazing. This Santa hanging from a moon. I just love him. This Holt Howard Santa bongo. This good, gosh, don't mind my nail polish. <laughs> this Santa Good Behavior Award. And this, let me see if I could get a good shot of this one. Uh, I just don't know how. Okay, so this. This is just probably one of my most favorite of my collection. This old Sears ring. How amazing is that? 
and there's one more. This is one of my favorite sweet little faces. Let's focus in. Smoochable. And my Holt Howard plates. I just love them. How fun is that? Okay, so now we are just going to take all the smalls and just fill in the spaces. Ho, ho, ho! Merry everyone! Okay, everything is in and oh my goodness I am over the moon it looks so good and really it's just the tinsel you know nothing really has a place I kind of just throw it in stack you know I don't really think too much most of these I've thrifted got at estate sales um, if you guys I'm not sure if you know if you go to estatesales.net We'll show you all the local estate sales in the area, which is where I got a lot of these. Go to estatesales.net and type in your location. Don't forget to sign up, it's free. But oh, it looks so good. Okay, so next, I got these battery-operated lights, like all the stores have them. And I just add, kind of add them to each shelf. And let's see how this turns out. There you have it. That is V-Spot Hutch 2020. One of the good things about this year. I am so happy with how it turned out. I'll have to do a night shot just to show you guys how the lights make a nice little little glow. Okay, and I wanted to share with you guys, because some of you may not know, that I was very fortunate enough to be in Fleet Market Decor um, holiday issue this year. So here is my spread. Um, I was really proud with last year. It was very much dedicated to Grandma Tony. But in the article, I actually talked about how Shannon, her um, Instagram is Girl one how she inspired me to do the tinsel. She was really the, you know, she just, she did her whole room for Christmas and then I did it. And then I also took it to another level and did like everything tinsel and I kept it up all year. But um, it's just amazing how Instagram has truly inspired me and I hope to inspire others as well. And yeah, so I hope you guys check this out.